Taurus. Let's jump right in here. This is the first reading of the year 2023 for you. And um, for this reading, I'm not using any of my cards. I'm using my uh, galaxy balls, which are sort of crystal balls, but they have little resins in it, which allow me, which allows me to see galaxies. And from there on, um, allows me to read uh, your energy or the energy for your sign. And I have two of them and they're all very different. I have one here with the, with the dolphins. And the dolphins are really much about perceptions. You know, how do you see the world? Is what you see really what's happening? How do people see you? So when should I pick them? It's understanding that sometimes, you know, you could get to the wrong conclusions unless you pay attention. So it's important not to do that. Should I take them? Just understand this, that it is also about how you see the world in a wider way. Um, should I pick uh, the larger one of the two or the... Uh, which is the, the dragon. The dragon is associated with water, um, with the element of water and the color gold, which is a conduit, which is about connecting, but it is also about your inner world, right? Water as an element. Um, so the, the idea is for you to, to listen to what the guides are saying to you and then try to understand it from within with your inner voice. Don't have too many outside influences make decisions on your behalf right so let's see which one i'm drawn to for the sign of, of taurus i'm actually drawn to this guy okay so what we do here is i look into different areas for you um three different areas for you actually it makes it easier for me to read the energy for the sign um so taurians what we do here is we look at your overall energy for the month of january 2023 before we then look at your emotional core emotional core means um if there's um trauma or pain that that can be released if there's love coming in you know that kind of stuff before we then lastly look at opportunities now opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially that said oftentimes the guides change what they mean exactly uh, entirely and i just tell you Whatever it is, I'm getting for your very sign. Torian, I, uh, Taurus, are you ready? So what I'm getting here is, let's just have a look. The first thing I would say to you in the month of January is to not be scattered. The energy of, of, of Taurus is all about, it's not so much that you want to please, but if everything in your life is in order, you function better. So for instance, Toreans are very drawn to having an immaculate home. And it's not because you feel more awesome in it. It's also when anybody comes to you, they feel more at home. So the point is the energy that you have is the energy of being stubborn. It's, 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 a, it's a Torian trait to a certain extent, not wanting to have people too close, which is another Torian trait. And at the same time, you will give up. Now what I'm getting for the overall energy for the month of January, 2023, for the signs of Taurus is for you to not be scattered. What that means is don't do five, six things at once. If your home is your safe haven, how come your workplace isn't? When you go somewhere where you know you're under stress and you stay there simply because uh, someone pays you or you have made promises to someone, ask yourself, would you advise your best friend to do that? Point, point in fact, don't be scattered. Look at what it is you really feel this month and act on your feelings much more than on your so-called promises or um, responsibilities. Okay, so now we're looking at the um, emotional core. See what, what's, what's happening in, in that area. Okay, so Torians, with regards to your emotions, your emotional core, there is a lot of space here. And that space means that if you are in a relationship, um, there can, now is the time to tweak stuff. Now is the time to take yourself out of it a little, reflect, look at it, and then put back in things the way you feel them, which also means if you are in a relationship, it's about you know um, having conversation, conversations with the partner, make sure that there are changes in the way you run things, if that makes sense, because you do run things. <laughs> um, that's important. Should you not be in a relationship because there's a lot of space? What that means is 
whether or not you realize it, you are actually capable of being in relationships, having a relationship. Um, you just have to open up. I think what is important for Torians, especially when it comes to the way the galaxy shifts here, is be upfront about stuff. Tell people that you, you do need some some private space and some personal space and some time out. You know, make it part of the relationship. It's, you know, tell them it's not personal. It's just who you are, right? You're not a person that can be bothered 24-7. Which is sometimes what you which is what you sometimes even manifest, right? Because you that giver, you sort of that mother figure, shouldn't really be in an intimate relationship. You shouldn't really be the mother, if that makes sense. So what I'm getting is 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 if you just are upfront when it comes to new relationships and tell people, you know, I'm a person that does value privacy, and then integrate it in, in into your relationship, there is no problem here because in the energy here is there is a lot of space, which means there's room for. For change, there's a lot of room for negotiation, if that makes sense, uh, or just saying how you feel. Your job, therefore, is Torians, is to speak up, which is not always the easiest um, of uh, of tasks, but you will be fine. Now let's have a look at um, opportunities for the month of January 2022 for the very sign of Taurus. You are watching Taurus's Tower readings. If you like my work. You can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Here is what um, the Galaxy Ball sh uh, says to you or about your, uh, your opportunities for the month of January 2023. Opportunities are thin on the ground. But that's not a problem because January is by default not a super productive month because it has this five weeks, it comes right after Christmas. A lot of people have these new ideas, you know, new resolutions, and then they notice that they're still living their lives um, in a very restricted manner, just like they did the, the year before. So this is the year of, so this is the month of making change. And therefore, when it comes to opportunities, it's not that they're half asked, but they're thin on the ground. So the advice here is for Taurians for the month of January is to think, think things through. I can't pronounce the H and now I'm saying think things through. <laughs> right? So the point is don't rush. Don't be coerced into things just because someone else thinks you would be good at that. Right? They may not be wrong. You may be good at it, but is it really what you really want at this point in time? So when it comes to opportunities, there are not that many apparently this very month, um, but you're also not in a rush. So don't rush things. Okie dokie, Toreans. That's all we got time for. Hopefully see you in February. Bye-bye.